hello and welcome to red live and i hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day me i'm doing good man no complaints whatsoever now i do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video vusitanda grateful for 30,000 rands check so actor vusitanda has reportedly received 30,000 rands from kokova founder sammy mahule of kicks footwear after pleading with the public to help him settle his 45,000 rand debt to his landlord now we did stories about this there were even reports that he managed to raise up to a hundred thousand rands in funds and donations so at this point i'm assuming that he has settled that particular debt but of course that has not stopped people from coming through and still helping the actor out now according to the latest reports there was an event that was held for the actor in his honor and they managed to raise thirty thousand rands now the founder of kicks footwear is quoted as saying the following to the papers after much consideration and talks with vusitanda we decided it would be best for us to opt out of hosting an event and have agreed to rather hand over a check of thirty thousand rands as our contribution to this legend Although we would have loved to host the event as planned, this approach made more sense to everyone involved because the ultimate goal of the whole exercise was always to offer relief to Ubab. Now the reports do go on to say that Vusi who was at first reluctant to even accept assistance as he had uh, distanced himself from this thanked the team for their support. He is quoted as saying the following, I am officially saying goodbye to poverty. I don't want to touch a cent of this money but instead I want to invest it because that is a mistake I made in the past. I have learned my lesson and never want to misuse money again. Thank you to the Kicks team for standing by me through this difficult time may god bless all of you look nothing wrong with investing money in fact that is actually a good thing to invest and also of course learning from one's mistakes character growth all of that good stuff but yeah getting back to the event itself before the event Vusi Danda apparently talked to the papers and said that he knows nothing about the event he is quoted as saying I can't comment on this because I am not part of it I was never informed about it if they want to honor me they would have contacted me and informed me the gesture would have been good and appreciated but I'm offended because they informed the media without telling me I will say that was very interesting what Fusi Danda had initially told the papers over there. Now, like I said, the Kicks Footwear founder came through and defended their decision to host the event saying that they wanted to contribute to his struggles. This is what he went on to say. The idea to host this event came after myself and the team had seen the video of Ubaba Fusi Danda pleading for help on social media as a brand born out of the hardships of COVID-19. We know firsthand how hard the the last few years have been so helping out was a no-brainer we have had the cocova stock in our warehouse for quite some time and this is a way to put it to really good use and turn something that would have been otherwise negative into a silver lining so yeah i've been going off that particular statement it does seem that you know it's not just about helping ubaba as he says over there but they also did want to you know get rid of some of their stock and uh, put it to good use i suppose and of course doing a public event is you know you want the public's attention rather than anonymously sending over a 30k check right but for me personally i say if you are giving a helping hand whether you're doing it publicly or privately at the end of the day it is the thought that matters but yeah before we move on to the next topic please do me a huge favor if you do enjoy the content here on red live do give this video a huge thumbs up it does help out a lot and also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads our next topic, Bonang Mateba inks a new deal. Media personality and businesswoman Bonang Mateba is basking in the glory that is her sunshine as she inks yet another big deal in her life. Now she posted the news on her social media. Needless to say that social media are celebrating another one of Queen Bee's major wins following her announcement to joining the Stephen Madden family for their holiday collection. Now taking to Twitter, Bonang posted the following video and captioned it, proud to introduce the Modang Mateba Steve Maiden holiday collection available online and in store from 7 November. Now there was also a post from the official Steve Madden account 
They posted the following image and captioned it, we are excited to announce our Bonang Mateba Steve Madden Holiday Select Partnership. The collection will be available online on the 6th of November and in store on the 7th of November. Stay tuned. It's not Steven, it's just Steve. It's just Steve, people. My bad. But yeah, definitely congratulations to Bonang Mateba and I'm assuming that she's excited and uh, going off the reactions on social media, her fans are excited too. So taking a look at some of the reactions to this particular post from Bonang, one user wrote, when is this woman having her own talk show, Mara? Hey, like the Bonang Mateba talk show. Another user wrote, the devil works harder, but you, my girl, works the hardest. Another user wrote, the B in Bonang stands for bag, cause no, she is securing it big time. Another user wrote, Bonang Bato, you are the woman you think you are. Is your middle name stylish by any chance? Keep growing and flourishing. And another user wrote, you are such a force, one can only be inspired. Definitely the biggest boss that I've seen this far. Ah yes, Bonang partnering up with Steve. I'll be honest, I, I don't even know who Steve is, but yeah, congratulations to Bonang. Our next topic, Lerato Singhadi on why she did not attend WHP's unveiling. So WHP's widow, Lerato Singhadi, has revealed that neither she nor her family received an invitation from her late husband's family to the unveiling of his tombstone at the weekend. Now yesterday, Lerato took to her Twitter timeline to explain why she did not attend the unveiling. So she started off and posted the following, okay, let me address this because I'm being asked at every given turn. Number one, my family and I were not informed about my husband's unveiling. Number two, I had zero say or input on his tombstone or inscription. Number three, I was not invited. Number four, like everyone on socials, it was my first time seeing Liano in four years. Now, we did talk about that in the previous video. You know, looks really grown up and he's a spitting image of Double HP. The resemblance is definitely uncanny. But getting back to Lerato's thread, she goes on to write, Like I said, their evil and malice knows no boundaries, but Mudimo Limu to see this, and they will action accordingly. So very interesting tweet there by Lerato, you know, clearing everything up that she was not informed nor invited to WHP's tombstone unveiling. Now, I'm sure a lot of people know that uh, Lerato has had a turbulent relationship with her in-laws. Now, the turbulence became very visible after WHP's suicide in October of 2018 when the Tambo family, led by the rapper's father, attempted to exclude her from all funeral arrangements because they did not recognize her as his cousin customary wife. Now with Lerato having to turn to the courts, the Gauteng South High Court later recognized her as WHP's lawful customary wife after the Lawala negotiations and wedding ceremony that took place in February of 2016. Now at WHP's funeral service, many noticed that Lerato was excluded from the tributes seated apart from the Zambo family and how the late rapper's sister acknowledged everyone except her. Now, WHP's sister Ayanda Zambo apparently did get a chance to speak with the papers and came to the family's defense saying because it was an intimate gathering, there were a lot of people who were not invited to that unveiling. This is what she is quoted as saying, she was not the only one who was not invited so we owe quite a few people an apology for leaving them out. We just thought she was going to invite herself. We even reserved a seat for her. It was a private gathering mostly reserved for close family invite herself honestly that is the defense right there we thought she was gonna invite herself how would she invite herself if she didn't even know about it but moving swiftly along one person who was there is rapper and former morafe group member toe d mac now he is quoted as saying the following we were honored to be able to represent many who couldn't make it to the unveiling we would like to assure them that the occasion went well and that they are welcome to visit jabba at hero's acre in mahi Gang. Interesting in him saying that he is honored that he was able to represent the many that couldn't make it. Couldn't make it because they were not invited or, you know. But yeah, apart from that, Toadie Mac also expressed his appreciation to WHP's mother who suffers from Parkinson's disease for still going ahead with the event to honor her late son. He went on to say, We are also extremely appreciative of Mama in her sickly state had the courage to honor her late son against all odds. We hail her as a queen mother of Mutuako. 
But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the reason why Lerato Singhadi was not at WHP's tombstone unveiling. She was not invited. But according to WHP's sister, they assumed she'd show up anyways. Our next topic, DJ Zintle celebrates husband murder, releasing his solo album. So DJ Zintle has loaded her husband, Bongani Mahosana, aka Murder Bongs, but he's now aka Murder, just Murder, uh, for making his debut solo album. So yeah, like I was basically saying, after changing his stage name from Murder Bongs to Murder earlier this year, he confirmed that he is pursuing a solo career. But he also clarified that that does not mean that he and small of black motions were parting ways so according to the statement that he gave black motion is still a thing he's just doing some solo stuff including black motion but of course we've heard that before and people just go on solo careers and never go back to the group but yeah this past friday murder released his 10 track project titled asante named after his daughter with dj zintle now dj zintle took to a timeline congratulating him on his venture so dj zintle posted the following video and captioned it my beautiful and talented husband dropped his first solo project today a 10 track album named after our daughter asante i'm so proud of you at murder bongs congratulations my love with some hashtags over there now as you can see over there murder bongs replied to this and wrote thank you my love i'm on the way oh ain't that just sweet but yeah, do get in the comment section down below and let me know, have you listened to the album and what did you think about it? I will put up my hands and say that I haven't listened to it, but I will definitely be listening to it after this video. But yeah, apart from DJ Zinkler coming out and speaking and congratulating Murder Bongs or Murder, Tabo Small also reportedly spoke to the papers and said that he was happy to witness Murder pursue his solo career as they continue to make an even bigger impact as a duo. This is what he is quoted as saying, black motion is black motion because of the culture that we taught the people it's not about the brand or who's doing what it is about us spreading the message that we came to give what makes a person an icon is how you are received by the community and how much of an impact you can make on people. It's about teaching. From the template of Black Motion, there are a lot of groups that have studied drums that we have used and it is something that we are leaving behind. Yeah, I know the leaving behind part, I hope is talking about the lessons and not leaving the group behind. But yeah, again, definitely congratulations to Murder Bongs on his solo project. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.